Hi viewers, hope all is well. I'm developing some uh, modified so-called Brownlee apparatus uh, for collecting hydrogen oxygen gases via electrolysis. Um, this was a commercial one I have there that I varied. I have some, of course, inverted test tubes. It's a modest 130 milliamps at 2.9 volts. But what I'm doing here is I'm trying to come up with a way to make very inexpensive brown leaves from wood. Um, from this commercial one that I've modified, I removed the uh, platinum electrodes, basically copper leads, and then the tips are uh, platinum. So I removed those and I replaced it with nickel plated alligator clips. Uh, the one on the right, which you can tell, is uh, where hydrogen evolution is uh, forming. And on the left, the oxygen. But uh, you see, uh, I want Brownlee apparatus that can be assembled by my students for fundamental uh, study of electrolysis of water, but in directed research uh, to modify graphite electrodes. And you can see right here, I have a graph a graphite felt pad commercial and uh, I electroplated it with nickel so I have uh, nickel and of course I recorded the mass I have deposition of nickel on both sides of this and uh, I have both of them running and uh, as I said the alligator clips have been electroplated and uh, we'll be making steady improvements uh, I use broom handles, broom hooks. If you go to Walmart, look up broom hooks. Nowadays, you can get them out of plastic. I have them coming in. And uh, I'll use much larger test tubes. We'll have the volumes measured. So my students can get to work testing out new graphite composite electrodes. We're looking at um, uh, the nickel plate. The graphite felt that I have is running about 50 to 85 ohms per centimeter. With modification with nickel plating, I'm down to five or six ohms per centimeter, which is very good. And uh, that's what we're hoping to do, get the trade-off between the porosity of the graphite felt conductivity of the nickel, particularly in water electrolysis. And then we're going to be looking at uh, G, C3, N4, and also haloisite nanotubular clay, and other composites as well. But a simple way for my students to develop modified graphite electrodes and then test them out. So it's still running steady at a 130 milliamps, 2.9 volts. And we have a long way to go here with these electrodes. In fact, the alligator clips, uh, I'll probably put some uh, heat shrink around them, minimize exposure. So the graphite electrodes doing the work. Thanks for watching now, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Bye for now.